Hello everyone. It's so great to be here and it's actually a bit unexpected and weird to be talking to a camera, but I just want to say, first of all, I want to congratulate the other five winners. Um, hello also to their families and friends and to my own family and friends also. And thank you, Mona and DeAnthony for making uh, this possible and so great and so entertaining. And Okay, so first of all, it is an honor to be here. And as you can see in my video, it was a bit unexpected for me to be here. Like this year, a lot of unexpected things have happened. But a year ago, I would have never imagined I would be standing here today talking to such honorable people, receiving this award for creating green speaking and for inspiring people in my community to take action against the huge environmental crisis we are facing. And in fact, as you could see also, a year ago, my life completely changed due to something very particular, something that happened. And I am going to tell you my story. So I'm going to try to be brief, possibly three to four minutes. And at the end, I will give my acknowledgements or thank yous. So we are on June 30, 2019, and I was delivering my pitch at the final ceremony of that year's Ocean Heroes Bootcamp. And as soon as I started talking, I realized it was the first time I addressed this topic, the environmental topic, and also doing it in English. So my mind went completely blank. I forgot everything that I was supposed to say at that pitch. Uh, I thought, I think, some of you may know what I'm talking about. But then the strangest thing happened because words started to come from the bottom of my heart. And then suddenly, all the knowledge I learned at the boot camp and before, and my public speaking passion since I was five years old, began to make sense like the pieces of a puzzle. And at the end, Seeing so many people touched and inspired by my words, I felt so empowered and fulfilled. I knew at that moment, I wanted to do exactly that for the rest of my life. And that's the day I found my location. So coming back to Mexico, uh, that feeling stuck with me, that feeling of empowerment and motivated me to start incorporating this new knowledge, this new passion into everything I could, every activity. For example, I remember the first project, uh, the school project was to make a video, a motivational video. And my friends and I did a plastic pollution video to show our class how to reject plastic and the alternatives and solutions. I also remember then that I had the opportunity to talk to my mom's students and I decided to give them a lecture about plastic pollution and the four R's. And eventually I ended up being deeply involved in campaigns in Mexico and school projects, but also in international movements. And here is something that I want to highlight from the pandemic. So this is like the good thing I got from the pandemic, putting aside all the bad, horrible things that have happened, I was able to trust and rely much more on technology and give virtual conferences and do campaigns with my friends from Reno, Nevada, from Hawaii, Vancouver, Spain, New Delhi, Dubai, and inspire kids, teens, and adults to raise their voices and to get involved into the environmental justice movement. And now it's been a long time since that first pitch where everything began. And I must say, it was a turning point in my life. Just imagine, I was surrounded by so inspired and passionate people from businessmen to activists and kids from all over the world eager to learn in a place, Vancouver, filled with nature in a university, one of the most responsible and eco-friendly universities in the world, UBC, and I felt so inspired, and I am very proud to say today that I have been able to share that inspiration with my own community. 
And that is exactly what green speaking is. Forming a community of young environmental leaders prepared to raise their voices and take action against the huge environmental crisis we are facing. But in order to change Mexico and the world, what we need are three special ingredients in order for all of this dream to be possible. So first of all, as Daniel was saying, we need education. Education is very important. It is essential in order to solve problems that we know what's happening, why, who is causing it, and how can we resolve it? So, therefore, Green Speaking provides resources and knowledge, but in a fun and interesting way, so that everyone can understand from a young kid to an adult and be engaged and really care for what's happening. So now, people is informed, but we need them to be confident. Green Speaking turns shy kids into young environmental leaders that take the advantage, take the best from their opportunities, from their situation, and push them themselves and those around them towards success. Which takes us to the last ingredient. And this is a very special one. And you might be thinking, I am talking about resilience. And though resiliency is very important, we shall not just recover or adapt during this crisis, but improve. We need to take the best and learn and improve ourselves and our situation and change the paradigm once and for all. So this ingredient is about taking the best and improving and doing in the favor of others. We have seen it, this ingredient, in a man from Atlanta who had a dream and inspired thousands with it achieving eventually historical change in the African-American civil rights movement. This ingredient was also present in a teenage girl from Pakistan who had the courage to fight for education and human rights against Taliban forces, even after an assassination attempt, always true to herself and her principles. This ingredient has been present in a man with limitless capacities from Australia, who realized that the most important thing is our heart and then become a self-improvement example to the world. And finally, this special ingredient has been very present in a young Swedish girl who became the leader of this youth movement, inspiring thousands of kids and even adults to take action overcoming not only Asperger, but the harassment and criticism for thousands and dozens of world leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, what we need in order to beat plastic pollution, climate change, and every environmental problem is determination. We need now more than ever determined kids, teens, and adults, informed, and then determined to change the world. I am determined to share this message with everyone, especially those who are afraid to raise their voices and make them believe in themselves. Know that they are not fighting alone, that they are fighting within a community that is called Green Speaking. I hope it wasn't too much time now. I just got to say my thank yous. And first of all, of course, I want to thank the New Leaders Initiative and the Earth Island Institute for honoring me with this award and for their excellent guidance these past months. Thank you very much. I also want to thank the Ocean Heroes Network and my fellow Ocean Heroes friends from the boot camp 2019 and 2020 for inspiring me and bringing me to this moment. Of course, my school, my teacher, Semper Seika, and my friends, gracias por su apoyo siempre. Uh, I'm about to cry. Uh, my family, uh, especially my mom, who is beside me, watching me, very excited uh, for always for to all of you for your unconditional support and love. And finally, I want to dedicate this uh, award to all the brave activists in Mexico and Latin America who are fighting for our planet, even if that means 
risking their own homes and their own lives. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. And have a great evening.